Greg Gutfeld's criticism highlights a growing concern over media accountability, particularly regarding the lack of coverage on certain issues, such as an ICE report he believes was deliberately underreported. His argument touches on a larger belief that mainstream media, often guided by political motives, cherry pick stories to fit their preferred narratives, sidelining those that might contradict them. In Gutfeld's view, the media's silence on what he considers one of the most significant criminal cases involving illegal immigration reflects a broader effort to obscure the truth, framing Trump's concerns on the matter as part of a larger cover-up. In, in the real world, she would be toast. And I don't like getting riled up for no reason because the story is so unbelievable. I wanted to see if it was reported elsewhere. You know, I couldn't find it on MSNBC, CNN, Drudge. You have the release of hundreds of thousands of, uh, of foreign criminals, like they emptied the jails, raped thousands of rapists, thousands of murderers. And on the pages of all of these networks, the death of Maggie Smith, which is sad, great actress, Lana Del Rey's marriage, uh, P. Diddy rumors, but nothing about what is easily one of the most big, probably the biggest crime story I've, I've ever seen. So we know that Democrats watch this show. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of them hate watching. But if you're watching this, the media doesn't want you to know this information. They don't want it to reach you. They would rather you die or be raped than Trump be right or find out the truth. So you can hate Fox all you want. You can hate Trump all you want. You can hate me. But you, you, you can't hate yourself and your family so much that you're going to ignore a story that puts them in danger. Now, even if these numbers are off by 50 percent, please, I think that the fact checkers should fact check it. You know, tell, tell us, no, it's not 16,000 rapists. It's only 8,000. It's only 7,000 murders. Cool. I'm glad you're okay with that. I'm glad I'll take your fact check. But anybody who defends this or, or says it's not that big a deal is complicit uh, and they should be held accountable. Every victim of every crime by the people that are in here uh, that, we have, that we haven't vilified who are actual villains, you need to file a class action suit against, uh, against this government. You know, these bastards were more offended by stories of cats being eaten than real stories, real stories reported here of actual rape and murder. And if you ask why those other stories existed, it was the only way to get these a-holes in the media to even look at this story. They can only see immigration as a gotcha moment for political gain. They're actual people that are dying. This is a huge story. Where is it? This critique resonates with the public's frustration over perceived media bias. When the press fails to report impartially, it undermines its core duty to inform the public, leaving people distrustful of the information they receive. This lack of transparency fuels skepticism about the media's role in society and raises concerns about how well citizens can make informed decisions. The absence of coverage on important topics, particularly around public safety and the release of dangerous criminals, weakens the public's grasp on reality, an essential component for making sound, responsible choices. Gutfeld's focus on the release of convicted criminals, including rapists and murderers, into the United States taps into widespread fears about the government's role in safeguarding its citizens. He emphasizes that maintaining law and order is one of the government's most critical responsibilities, and when it fails, the consequences are grave putting lives and well-being at risk. His assertion that the media and government would rather people die or be raped than support Trump captures a profound frustration among many who believe that political correctness or ideological agendas are being prioritized over the safety of ordinary Americans. This sentiment reflects a deep-seated fear that institutions tasked with protecting the public are instead allowing chaos to creep in, heightening anxiety, about personal and familial safety. Moreover, Gutfeld's call for victims of crimes committed by released illegal immigrants to file a class action suit against the government reflects a strong conservative belief in individual responsibility and the need to hold those in power accountable. He argues that when the government fails to fulfill its duty, it is up to the citizens to step in and demand change. In Gutfeld's view, both the government and the media are complicit in creating an environment where crime flourishes due to a lack of proper information and action. His message is a rallying cry for individuals to assert themselves, 
especially when systems fail. Rather than accepting incompetence or injustice passively, Gutfeld urges the public to confront these failures, take action, and protect their communities from further harm.